guys and gals. Today we're gonna talk about Spectrum Aqua watercolor markers. Um, I ordered this set a while back and took some photographs of it and realized uh, I tend to prefer to do portraiture, although there are some lovely bright colors in here. So I ordered the essential set from uh, Overstock, one of my favorite not art supply stores to buy from, mainly because they take bitcoins. Um, so I pulled out my watercolor swatch book very important. Uh, I recommend every artist keep one. And I don't think I have, um, in this book, I don't think I have the primaries. I think that's in another book. But I am going to go ahead and open these up, swatch them, and put them in their brand new, not so brand new case. I ordered a bunch of these cheap marker cases from Utrecht when they were trying to liquidate their stock. I paid $3.99 a case and I use them for pretty much everything. It's better than keeping plastic clamshells around. However, if you don't have a case to put them in, you don't have somewhere else to store them, these clamshells are perfectly fine and they also have the information about these markers at the top. Now, despite having these for a while, I never got around to reviewing them. Mostly because I never got around to doing my field test. Like I said, I mostly do portraiture, so I try to keep my, um, I try to buy skin tones. And you can't get these open stock. Now, they're twin tipped. Oh, and one end has a tiny little, um, like a fine liner which I will probably not use, but I will swatch. So let's take a look at the primary set. So I noticed a couple things while swatching the primary set. One is we have three violets, which are almost identical, um, and two reds, which are pretty dang close as well. Um, any of these five colors could have been replaced with a black or um, maybe another orange or maybe a pink or maybe a true violet instead of three mauves. Um, something else I noticed is these brushes are actually like um, felt or fiber brushes. They don't have much give and they start to fray when you scrub them against watercolor paper. Now these are watercolor brush markers, so that's something that shouldn't happen. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, it's a good thing I'm switching these over to another case today because they started to fall out as I tipped the page forward. I mean, the the container forward. So that's something to keep in mind if you are, um, if you're not going to put, change the case on these, is uh, they are very prone to falling out of. Actually, reading the names, this is burgundy, this is not a brown. So um, I don't really understand it, but a lot of primary sets don't include. Um, if they include a brown, there's only one brown. And something I'd really like to see change is um, just including more browns with <laughs> your your colors. I know browns aren't necessarily as vibrant, but they're really useful for people or trees or um, buildings. I say this as an artist though, not as a crafter, and I'm not really sure who Spectrum Noir is trying to attract. If they're trying to attract crafters, they have some really loyal ones, because I've gotten some very snippy comments on my blog from stampers who really love the Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. Um, but given the build quality on these markers, I'm not 
that impressed. Um, you would think some field testing would have shown them that the the uh, nibs they're using are going to deteriorate very quickly. So that was the swatch test for Spectrum Aqua um, watercolor markers. Now I'm going to swatch the Spectrum Aqua Essentials that I got from Overstock. This case does not want to open, probably because it's never been opened before. Funny that. That was a demonstration of me swatching Spectrum Aqua's new, um, well they're not really that new, Spectrum Noir's Aqua markers. Um, please keep watching my channel for my field test and my verdict. I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please leave a like. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, and if you really, really like content like this and want to help fund more, please consider backing my Patreon. I'm Becca Hilburn. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!